Question number 1C, BC 2024. We are to copy and complete the 3 by 3 magic square such so that the sum of the numbers in each row, column, and diagonal is equals 21. So some of the facts we need to know, one common fact which is trivial could be that the, the middle number times 3 will give you the sum of what you're looking for. So 3 times this give us what? 21. So in case 21, uh, 7 is not here, you could have used that property also to arrive at the middle number, the, the magic number. Alright. Now, since we are going row, we are going colon, we are going diagonal. When we try to add, we need to get the 21. So, 1, 2, 3. So, give it 21. Meaning, if you have 10 plus 3 plus a certain number, it should be giving you 21. If I'm putting here X. So, that means, let me use 8 so that I have more options to use. That means 13 plus A equals 21. A equals to 21 minus what? 13. And I believe that would be 9, right? Or that would be 8. 8. So we have 8. Now, meaning if you add 8 to this, you should be getting that. So I'll be getting this area to be 8. So the moment we know here, we need to think of any other places. But it is good when you get two of the boxes tick for you. You can see one, two, we can find here. So one, two, we can find here. Right? That is the, the rule. So if I label here B, meaning 3 plus 7 plus B should also produce 21. Alright, so this will be 10 plus B, 21. B equals to 21 minus 10. So B is going to be 11. So in this row, or this is the column, right? This column, I'll be having 11. Alright. Now we know here and here, do we have any that? This is one, two spaces, one, two spaces. So we cannot go row or column, but we can go diagonal. You said diagonal is also part. So one, two, three. So I can label here C to have 10 plus 7 plus C giving us what? 21. So 17 plus C, 21. C equals to 21 minus what? 17. This is just a simple equation we are developing. So what we add? I think that will be 4, right? So C will be 4. So in the case of this diagonal, here I will get what? 4. As long as this is known, this becomes possible. This becomes possible. So I can label here D. If possible, so I'll be having 8 plus the D plus 4. So it's also give us 21. That is what we are doing. So we'll be having D equals to 21. The sum of this will be given to 12. So if that is 12, what will be D? 21 minus 12. I believe that will be 9, right? Will that be 9? If we have 9... Good. So I'll be having this area to be 9. Then I can try here as D, right? There are so many alphabets we can use. I know some of you will just use an I text to get all the areas. No problem. That is also allowed. So I'll be having E plus 11 plus 4. Give me 21. 1, 2, 3. And that will be E equals to the 21 minus the sum of this, which is 15. So that will be 6, right? So E will be 6. So I'll be having this, my area, to also be 6. So now I can either go this way, or 1, 2, 3. Any dimension I want to go, let's go there. So I'll be having F plus 7 plus 9 to give me 21. So F will be 21 minus the sum of this, which in this case will be 16, right? So if 16, 
Would that be 5? I get that to be 5. So I have here to be 5. So you can cross check and see what you have done is actually correct. This plus this is 15 plus this, 21. 10 plus this, 21. This is going to be 17 plus this, 21. Or diagonal is 21. Here will be uh, 15 plus 6, 21. So all of them add up to give us what? 21. So this is one simple way by which we can arrive at the missing numbers in a 3 by 3 magic square. I guess it is clear. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye bye.